Hi everyone, Release Fire here. So I'm going to show you how to take photos here in Days Gone. There's some amazing, amazing scenery to get some pics and obviously if you can get one with some zombies in the background, that's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to take photos. You may have known that there is a photo mode in the game, but you might not know how to get to it and how to use it. So I'm going to take you through all of that. Hopefully it's going to help you out. And if it does, drop us a like below. All of your support is massively appreciated. But essentially you get to the, uh, the photo mode by going to the main menu and you can see that just down there is photo mode. So press the options button on your PS4 controller and then scroll on down using the left analog stick and you'll get to the photo mode and that will bring you to here where you can scroll through all of the different settings. I'm gonna talk you through all of the different settings now so you can see what you need to change. And one of the first things to change is your focal distance and your aperture. If you wanna take in more of the scenery and you wanna make sure that Deacon is in better, uh, better kind of clarity, better detail. So you want to have a closer focal distance and an aperture of a higher aperture like f22 will make sure that uh, Deacon is in focus and all of the background is in focus and then you can zoom in and out in the shot by changing the field of view so you can see you can go all the way back and you can go as close to Deacon as you can get but kind of a mid-level is probably a good point to get good amounts of scenery or zombies or whatever it is you're trying to take a picture of and Deacon in the shot and then you can see there's focal distance, so I'm just trying to get that spot on. Aperture's about right, and then you can increase the graininess just to make it kind of look a little bit more like a classic photo, so you can give it a bit more grainy texture, which just kind of adds little, little flex to the background, which kind of makes it a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna change that to around about 40%, maybe 42.5. That's a good amount of graininess without it being just too ridiculous. And you can also go into like there's a basic and there's an advanced mode. Now I'm not going to go through the advanced mode and I don't really think you need it. It's not unless you're kind of like majorly into all this kind of stuff. In which case you can play around with it as much as you want. But I'm going to stick with the basic view uh, which is here. And then you can move over to, uh, to this area here which is characters by using R1 and L1. And you can change whether or not you can see Deacon. You can do the same for the bike. So if you just want the scenery, you can just see the scenery. Uh, you can take out other characters. So if there's zombies in the way, for example, you want to take them out and you can change Deacon's facial expression. So he does like a bit of a happy smile. It looks a bit goofy. Uh, contempt. The faces are just pretty silly. I don't know if you remember playing God of War. It's a similar situation where Kratos' face looked hilarious with some of the different, uh, different expressions. And it's the same case with Deacon. I'm going to go with fear because, hey, this is days gone. There's freakers all over the place. Winky face would not be good. So I'm going to backpedal on over to, uh, to fear and stick with that. And that's kind of like I've got a good background. Got a good face, now I want to change the frame. So there's a few different frames, there's a cool broken frame. Uh, there's like lots of different things for you to choose from. The burnt edges is quite sweet, quite like that. And then you've got instant film and asphalt and a reflection on a Nero mask and the blend studio, duct tape, uh, barbed wire. And then you've got the different aspect ratios. So I'm gonna go with a 21.9, which is like, uh, a widescreen kind of aspect ratio, which looks pretty sweet. So I'm gonna go with that. It's quite cool with the graininess. Now you can change things like you can put the logo on if you wanted to. If you're gonna put this on social media or on like Instagram or whatever, and you can change the position of the logo and you can also change the color. So if you wanted it to be black or white, you can change that. And then there's some preset filters for you to use. So you can just go into that to be able to uh, change what it looks like. So you've got black and white, and then you've got noir, and then <laughs> what have we got? We've got warm. There's just loads and loads of different filters for you to use. They're all gonna change either the color or the tone or the kind of like the, the style of the picture. Uh, but I'm going to go with no particular uh, particular filter on this one just because I think it kind of looks cool just as it is. And then once you've got the shot as you want it, you need to be able to work out how to take a picture. And to be able to do that, what you actually need to do is use the share button on your PS4 controller and uh, and go through the kind of like the standard screenshot capture 
for that. And then obviously if you want to see your picture, you just head on into screen capture from your main menu on your PS4. And there you go, you can see the shot that you've taken or all of the shots that you've taken. And that's it guys, that is how to take photos here in Days Gone. Like I said earlier, hopefully it helps you out. And if it does, drop us a like below. All of your support is hugely appreciated. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side. And you can check out our t-shirts and hoodies with the shop just below that. You can see more of our videos on Days Gone with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below. Let us know what pictures you took and I will catch you next time. Cheers guys.